Today, I wanna to share with you a brand new recipe. A few weeks ago, I went to a Korean restaurant and I tried a slush noodle bowl and I want to recreate it using a little bit of matcha tea powder. This recipe is perfect for a hot summer day because you're actually eating noodles amongst a layer of slush that is infused with a ton of flavor. For this matcha slush noodle, we'll first need some matcha tea that I'm using Tea Party brand here today. Um, here's the bowl of actual vegetable broth that I mixed in the matcha, some sesame oil, and then for protein today, I'm using some soft tofu as well as some soft boiled eggs, but you can use chicken or beef if you wish, apple cider vinegar, sugar, salt, garnished uh, black sesame seeds for later on. And then I have these rice ramen noodles. And over here we have some Asian pear and cucumber. First step is to make the matcha broth. So either use store or homemade vegetable broth, add two teaspoons of matcha, whisk until combined, and then keep in the freezer for about four to six hours. So next we're gonna pickle our own uh, cucumbers. This is a quick pickle method. So just cut both ends off. And I just like cutting into thirds, it's easier to manage. And then using a spoon, we're gonna scoop out the pulp of the cucumber. Next, we're gonna slice the cucumber nice and fine. Once all your cucumbers are sliced, we're gonna add in the tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. You can use white vinegar as well. We're gonna add half the sugar. And then we're also gonna add in some salt. Now we're gonna go ahead and prepare the Asian pear. So I just have one cup of cold water in here and I'm gonna dissolve a little bit of sugar. This is just so that the pear doesn't brown after we cut it. Just kinda of stir it until it dissolves. And now let's go ahead and peel our Asian pears. So these are the Korean versions. You can also use the yaw pears. Uh, they're nice and crunchy and sweet. So now we're gonna go ahead and slice the pear in half, like so. So one half, we are gonna slice it and put it into the sugar water. Now we're gonna take the second half and we're gonna grate it. So once you've grated your Asian pear, you're gonna take out your bowl of matcha broth out of the freezer. I'm gonna use a cotton bay like this today. You can just use a cheesecloth if you don't have one or just put it through a strainer. But we're gonna juice all this beautiful Asian pear into our bowl. Look at all that juice! Oh my gosh! And then we're also gonna juice out the uh, cucumber pulp. So now give this all a stir. There's a lot of slush already. Oh yum, so let's give it a stir. And then we're gonna stick this back in the freezer. Now we're gonna cook the noodles. So just turn it down to medium. These gluten-free um, lotus foods, rice ramen, only takes about three minutes to boil. So I'm gonna put down two in here. Now we have to rinse this out really, really well in the bowl of water. And now it's time to plate our noodle bowl. So into the bowl, I'm gonna add in just a drizzle of sesame oil. Give it a stir. Okay, and now we're gonna add all our toppings. Lush on top. There we go. Oh my gosh! Okay, it's pouring out of work. And it's okay to have chunks of slush because that's actually how it's supposed to be. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to try this out. I hope you enjoyed this matcha slush noodle bowl. And until next time, relish everybody.